Hello everybody, I am Dr. Rasya Dikshit. I am a dermatologist and cosmetologist practicing in Bangalore. Today I am here to talk to you about a common skin problem which is called pigmentation. The color of the skin is determined by a cell called melanocyte which produces a pigment called melanin. Now, this melanin is actually a normal pigment and it is supposed to become darker or lighter depending on the amount of sun exposure because melanin's job in the skin is to protect the deeper layer of the skin from UV radiation. But when the same melanocyte produces more melanin and it uh, up produces it in one sun single patch or it is not able to dispose it properly, you get a pigmentation problem. So, this is actually the normal function which has become a little abnormal which is causing the small issue called pigmentation. Unfortunately, this issue is not small for a person who is suffering from it. So, a person who has pigmentation, they feel a lot of um, social discomfort in interacting with people and they feel that it distracts from their attractiveness. So, let us discuss how melanocyte, melanin and sun or UV radiation are interacting. The more is the UV radiation, the more is the pigmentation. So, in a person who is darker, who has a tendency to get more pigmented, they, when their sun exposure, become more darker. However, the problem is not with this darkening, which is called tanning, but when you get patchy darkening, which is called melasma or facial pigmentation. What are the main causes of facial pigmentation? Definitely, we have spoken about the sun, but other issues such as pregnancy, hormone disbalance, disorders of uh, congenital disorders, they can all cause this uneven pigmentation and so can deficiencies of vitamins and smoking can also cause pigmentation. But many a time we should also look at other conditions such as thyroid dysfunction, Addison's disease, Cushing's disease or even just obesity. Even obesity can actually cause facial pigmentation. Even the, with aging and genetics, we do get some amount of pigmentation and we can get an idea by examining the patient's skin or by doing some blood tests, what is this underlying condition that has caused the facial pigmentation. How do we all deal with this pigmentation? So, the first thing is when you meet with a dermatologist, they are going to examine you, understand the history, understand the uh, pigmentation, understand what is the underlying problem, is there any thyroid dysfunction, is there any hormonal condition and if needed do some blood tests for the vitamin deficiency and then decide what kind of treatment has to be given. The first treatment which is often suggested by the dermatologist is, it is very obvious, a sunscreen because when you are trying to remove pigmentation, the first thing you want to do is prevent it from becoming darker and prevent it from exposing to the sun and we recommend a broad spectrum sunscreen which has to be used every 2 to 3 hours because sunscreen lasts for only 2 to 3 hours. It has to be frequently reapplied so that the skin does not become darker. The second is to use topical skin lightening creams. The effect of the topical skin lightening creams is slower to develop and it can form like a background to the whole other treatments which can be added on to improve the pigmentation faster. The cornerstone of the treatment of uh, pigmentation is some treatment called laser toning. This laser toning is a device which causes a controlled thermal injury to the melanosome. This melanosome is actually a grain like structure which contains melanin and it is a subcellular structure which is present inside the cell which is the melanocyte. So, inside the melanocyte there is this melanosome which contains the melanin. And when you have this pigmentation problem, the number of melanosome has increased, the melanin inside the melanosome has increased. So, we need to reach till there and reduce the amount of melanin. So, how does the laser do that? This laser causes a sub-threshold injury to this melanosome so that it melanosome breaks and the melanin gets spilled into the cytoplasm of the melanocyte from where the cell can clear it out and you get a lightening of the skin which is very good and it is very even that you get and because you get an evenness of tone of the skin, this procedure is called laser skin toning. 
what happens also is that this injury is not happening at the cellular level there is no cell damage either at the epidermis or at the dermis but instead you are getting a heating which is happening so you get a collagenogenesis as well so you get a skin tightening as a byproduct of the laser toning good thing about this treatment that it is very safe for all skin types and it does not damage any surrounding tissue it is damaging only the melanosome and you get a very good result of brightening of the skin without any side effect but we also see that this is a wonderful treatment for those patients who are very scared of doing any chemical based treatment because this is a light based treatment so it is also called light toning or laser toning and the next treatments which are very effective in reducing the uh, pigmentation are something called chemical peels now i know you've heard of a lot of chemical peels which are done for acne but the set of chemical peels which we use for uh, this pigmentation is completely different what we use here are medium depth peels which help to regenerate the skin and actually exfoliate the skin at a higher rate so that the new skin can be produced which can reach uh, and give you a brightening effect the peels which are used uh, which are effective against pigmentation issues like melasma age spots and sun damage are called tca peels or retinol peels these are very safe and effective in good hands what you can expect out of a tca peel is after the treatment is done you see a mild frosting which appears on the surface of the patient's skin and then the treatment is seen as an end point and then after that you see an exfoliation for the next 3 to 5 days post treatment and very strict sun protection is advised after that so that the skin which is coming out which is the new skin is protected from the skin and it looks very light and radiant and these peels have to be done under the care of a dermatologist because these have the capacity to penetrate deeper they are very safe but they and they are very effective but they can go wrong in the wrong hands so you need somebody who's an expert dermatologist who can give you the correct treatment and the guidance for using the chemical peels and again with the chemical peels you get a lot of improvement not only in the pigmentation itself but also in the texture of the skin so this pigmentation which is happening it's a combination of not only the pigment deposition but also maybe some aging effect of the skin so both can be tackled by these procedures laser toning as well as medium depth chemical peels which i spoke about can affect the most of the types of chemi- uh, pigmentation and the person who can decide best which treatment is good for you is your dermatologist it is very important for us after we do any procedure to continue to maintain the skin so what is this maintenance process about melanin production and um, the continuous melanin production which happens inside the skin may cause a lot of these conditions to be a recurrent problem so after the improvement which is got by doing this procedures such as laser toning such as chemical peels it is important to maintain the treatment with home care which will comprise of a sunscreen a skin lightening cream which is given at bedtime maybe an oral antioxidant or an oral anti pigmentation agent and to come back on a quarterly basis once in 2 to 3 months to continue the procedure so that the exfoliation can be maintained at the same rate this will help the skin to maintain the same improvement for a longer period of time initial treatments can be probably on a monthly basis more frequent treatments are not recommended for pigmentation patients because these tend to cause more hyperpigmentation when you uh, decide to crowd the treatments together instead what we do recommend is maybe a combination of alternate chemical peels and laser toning so that you get some improvement in exfoliation and some pigment reduction with uh, melanosome level with laser so we can combine it on a monthly basis if for patients who desire a faster or a quicker turnaround time but not to repeat them on a very frequent basis and then space out your treatment so that your maintenance is once in 3 months or once in 4 months so the results can be prolonged for a longer period of time 